Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, May 16th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. We are now in a G2 geomagnetic storm thanks to the BZ pushing south, but it's ending now, so that will be short-lived. But there is aurora glowing over northern Canada. We've also got the 23rd paroxysm at Kilauea that we live streamed so you can go get that over at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble. It lasted for hours. We also have major tornado threats and severe weather threats from Michigan all the way into Texas across the central U.S. Keep calm. It's boom time. Tornadoes ripped through the heartland, leaving paths of destruction and half a million without power. St. Louis police reported four people were, were killed in weather-related incidents, but that number could fluctuate as first responders continue to check on the hardest impacted. And impacted indeed, take a look at this. That is shredded. Powerful winds are sending trees down on St. Louis Street and the hail that hail was spectacular, several inches. That is gorilla hail. And the cleanup is underway after strong storms rip through West Michigan. This is Top Knot's boyhood home, and he's just flying back now to some of the devastation that's happening there. Crews started cleaning up Friday after a line of strong storms barreled across West Michigan the previous night, bringing down trees into homes and power lines and spawning radar-confirmed tornadoes. As of Friday afternoon, the National Weather Service said it had confirmed two EF-0 tornadoes in the Battle Creek area. And this was what the power outages looked like this morning when we started assembling the show, 261,000 without power in Michigan, but after the storms today, I imagine this is going to change. Take a look at that. We've got some recovery in Michigan, 186,000 without power there, but Indiana is spiking now, 103,000 without power in Indiana, 92,000 plus in Kentucky, 92,000 plus in Missouri, 83,000 plus in Maryland. So the severe weather continues, and we now have over a half a million without power due to these storms. Hours of powers. And the tornado chances have been added to the evening forecast. We'll get to the severe weather map that's live in a moment. And all other severe weather has increased as well. And that's putting 150 million people at risk as severe storms, tornadoes threaten the central and eastern Euro U.S. Violent storms and long-lived tornadoes could hit the central and eastern U.S. through the weekend bringing widespread damage, power outages, dangerous travel conditions, and even large hail. A series of severe thunderstorms packing high winds, hail, and tornadoes will progress into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys into the weekend, and some will extend to the Atlantic coast. Holy macaroni. Friday storms turned deadly in St. Louis and prompted a rare tornado emergency in Illinois. And factoring in the population affected from Thursday to Saturday evening, close to 200 million people in the central and eastern United States will have been at risk of severe weather at some point. While the risk may take up only a small, small part of the 72-hour period, it could prove to be shocking, disruptive, even devastating to those most significantly affected by the storms from Friday to Saturday, close to 150 million people are still at risk. And here we can see the power outage risk through Friday night, mostly Nashville, Lexington, and Indy. Damaging thunderstorms Friday afternoon and night here. Here is the highest risk, and we'll go check that live map. And through Friday night, Evansville, Lexington, Nashville, and Knoxville are the bullseye. Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, Oklahoma City south to Dallas will be in the bullseye. And Saturday through Saturday night, the entire East Coast from the Adirondacks through the Catskills, south through the Metroplex of New York City and Philadelphia, Washington, down through Virginia Beach will be on high alert. And the current watches and warnings are epic. Take a look at this. There are dozens 
Just in the last hour, holy macaroni. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, over 50 severe thunderstorm warnings and 1, 2, 3, tornado warnings. Tornado warnings out now for Kentucky at Elliott and Rowan counties. We've got tornado warnings for Pulaski and Wayne counties in Kentucky as well. We've got another tornado warning here just coming out just moments ago for Elliott County in Kentucky, as well as Allen, Logan, Simpson, Warren County, Kentucky. We also have severe thunderstorms in Arkansas, Kentucky, Ohio, Tennessee, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. So there is where all that activity is. You can see it on the map. Very severe down here in that bullseye. So heed the warning and get out of harm's way and go indoors. And here is the full forecast. We've got regional outbreaks of severe weather through early next week with early season heat wave across the south. An active spring pattern across the center of our nation with several episodes of severe weather and heavy rainfall expected into next week. The potential for very large hail. We could be seeing some record-breaking hail. Long track tornadoes. We've already seen those. And severe wind gusts, which we've already seen up to 70 miles per hour. Frequent cloud to ground lightning strikes could spark some wildfires. And flash flooding are all in the outlook. It's a spicy spring condition. Well, that we're all quite used to. Furthermore, dangerous early season heat wave continues in the Gulf Coast states into early next week with red flag warnings up where you should not flick cigarette butts out the window. Frost and freeze warnings up for the Dakotas moving into Wyoming as well. So protect your sensitive crops overnight. There is a hard freeze warning for North Dakota. Say it ain't soda. Seismic update. No real quakes of note, normal activity worldwide. We had an interesting 4.2 in Romania earlier today. Hey, hey. But normal activity on the Ring of Fire. Uh, where is this? Utah 2.7 in Howell. And we've got some fracking activity at 3.1 in White's City, New Mexico. That's about it. And that brings us to Worldwide Volcano News, where we had the 23rd paroxysm over at Kilauea. We also, kicking off the day, was Manam at 7,000 foot. And then we've got Ibu coming in at 7,000 as well. Sakonajima! 10,000 foot blast today. And here is spectacular footage of continuing dense ash emissions at Sakonajima! <laughs> A lot of you love that. Raventa, though, our 14,000-foot blast. Sungay, possible volcanic ash. Possible volcanic ash at Poas as well. Santa Guito, possible volcanic ash. 7,000-foot at Ibu. We've got Semadu. Who knew? Now you do. 15,000-foot puff today. Sakonajima, over a 5,000-foot puff there. Raventa, sporadic emissions of ash. Poas as well. Sakonajima, 5,000-foot puff. And we've got Shivalush on the list, a big boomer today. You can see the ash moving to the east here and a little south, a 40,000-foot blast. Yeah, that's in the stratosphere, folks, because that's up in the Arctic. Santa Guito, volcanic ash, possible there. Ibu to 7,000 feet, Semadu to 15,000 foot. Wrapping up the list is Fuego with a 16,000-foot blast. And that brings us to, well... Our live stream, which is eight hours and 12 minutes, still processing over at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble. So support us there. Follow us, give us a thumbs up, and help us grow our channel. Now, the northern lights might be visible in the U.S., according to Forbes, and they're claiming it's due to solar flares. That's how bad their reporters are. This is not a solar flare solar storm. It is a coronal hole solar storm but they're do, too dumb to do the research. And this is the coronal hole in question, number 48, should be coupling with us, well, just in the next 24 hours, in my opinion. And they've got us on geomagnetic storm watch for May 18th through the 19th. So this is a big coronal hole. And during this time frame, we're going to see some large earthquakes that we don't want to see happening. So buckle up, buttercup. Earthquake watch now starting May 17th through the 21st. That's how that works. And we've got a long time as this coronal hole 
traverses Earth facing. Now, the BZ component of the interplanetary magnetic field has relaxed into a south pointing position at negative 11 nanoteslas, and a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm is currently in progress. There you can see the increase in plasma speed. <clears throat> now decreasing now as the BZ shifts north, but it looks like it's pushing south again. So we may be in geomagnetic storm for a few minutes longer. Let's click on it and see where we're at here. Yeah, that may continue overnight. So buckle up, Buttercup. And if you're in northern Canada, get outside and look up. Lee and I just... Uh, we're discussing our topic for tomorrow's radio show, and we're going to be discussing the opening of the Proto-Atlantic Ocean. When did it happen? Well, according to this paper that just came out in June, which is in the future, so we had to time travel in order to get the paper, and we will be reporting on it tomorrow morning at noon Mountain Time in Studio B on Revolution.radio. Gigantic mud waves buried deep beneath the ocean floor reveal dramatic formation of the Atlantic when Africa and South America finally split 117 million years ago as the Atlantic opened up. It's a fantastic topic. We're going to show you all the paleogeography. We'll show you some fancy jiffies of Gondwana breaking up there or Pangaea. We'll show you the data of how the seafloor is less than 200 million years old, which means that it's expanding Earth and not plate tectonics. And we'll get to the bottom of it all in just one hour over at Revolution Radio in Studio B, 12 noon Mountain Time. Fantastic discussion. If you don't think the Earth was 50% smaller 200 million years ago, well, you're missing out on some of the most amazing science that's around. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, become a Patreon, support the work we do, watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. But it's, I implore you to subscribe. Most of the people watching this video are unsubscribed and we need you to click that subscribe button and the bell and be well. Be safe, we love you. And that is a boom. Mm-hmm. <laughs>